the staff blamed him for what happened to me. They were wrong. into the cradle's memories. It's the only way. You'll have to pretend to be one of the patients so the cradle won't see you. Each of the patients from Whitehall had a favorite toy that they liked. You can use them as keys to go into the cradle's memories. Find one of those toys and I'll tell you what to do next. to hide his burns, he was locked in the seclusion chamber. The toy you just picked up is a key to the cradle's memories. Now you have to figure out where to bring it. There's a special place for each toy. When you put the toy in the right place, you'll enter the past. Okay. 
carried that jar around like it was a real baby in the exercise yard. She used to feed birds with that. They let her hang it from the balcony. She used to play that when she danced for us in the old puppet theater. It's the lobotomy room now. I didn't like her smile when they let her light the fire in the lounge. to watch people with that and painted them too. He liked the observatory. They let him use those to work in the shock therapy room. The staff used to catch him sleepwalking with that candle in the morgue. I think he used to eat with those in the meal hall. It's like a stitch in time. You can't die here because you're inside a patient. But if the staff catch you, they'll take away your toy and you'll have to find another one. Now will you get my diary? In the real world, it's all torn apart and we never find all the pages. But in the past, it's just the way I left it, up in the nursery tower. Please find it and burn it in the morgue. When they started letting the patients stay here, there wasn't enough room for everybody. All of us children had to move here into the nursery tower, where the babies used to be. I was playing hide and seek with my friend Drept, but he never found me. Instead, the grey lady found me. I tried to run, but the door was locked, and I couldn't get it open.